In the meantime, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is going to be giving a speech later today on the infrastructure plan and President Biden's economic agenda. Elon Moy joins us with the latest. Good morning. Well, good morning, Andrew. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen will make the macroeconomic case for President Biden's agenda today, arguing that ambitious policies are necessary to address the economy's most intractable problems. Now, we obtained a copy of the speech that she'll deliver in Atlanta later this morning, and in it, she calls out four destructive forces, declining labor force participation, wage polarization, racial inequality, and climate change. And she argues that investing to combat those problems is essential to remain the world's superpower. Quote, we've grown used to America as the world's preeminent economic power. We aren't destined to stay that way, but with these investments, I believe that we will. Now, Yellen is one of five cabinet members that President Biden has tapped to sell these investments to the public. Notable that her first domestic trip here is to Georgia, the state that, of course, gave Democrats control of the Senate and therefore control of Washington. She'll be speaking today alongside Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Then she'll appear with the area's congressional Democrats and talk with leaders of the Latino community about the child tax credit. There's also a meeting with CEOs. So, guys, today it is clear that Yellen is now fully transitioned from her days of actively avoiding politics while she was at the Federal Reserve to now jumping into the political fray. Back over to you. Ilana, I think the big question is we're always trying to handicap what's going to happen with this bill, where does it really stand? And frankly, when, when, when she makes speeches like this or, or others in the administration do, whether you think they move the needle. Yeah, so I think that right now what the administration is trying to do is just sort of uh, have a full court press and selling this to the public. Right now, the bipartisan infrastructure bill is kind of wending its way through the Senate. I won't say it's stuck, but it's kind of dragging along. And so they're trying to build that public pressure, build that public momentum um, to encourage senators and lawmakers to get this over the finish line. If you remember back during the COVID relief package, one of the things that the administration argued very strongly was that that bill, that legislation was popular with Republicans and Democrats, maybe not in Washington, but out in America. And so they're trying to uh, build that support to be able to make that argument once again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.